Today we're going to be looking at our second classification of rocks, which are sedimentary rocks. And sedimentary rocks get their names because they're formed through a process called sedimentation. And sedimentation basically means that tiny particles of minerals, organic material, and other things collect together and settle over time, usually as a result of water. Over time, however, the sediment actually packs together tightly enough, settles down, hardens up, and forms rocks. Now, when we look at sedimentary rocks, based on how they're formed, we can put them into three different categories. And these three categories are clastic sedimentary rocks, organic sedimentary rocks, and chemical sedimentary rocks. Clastic sedimentary rocks are a group of rocks that are formed from sediment moved by water and then settling down once the water stops flowing. For instance, if water washes some particles of soil and small rocks into a lake, those things might settle on the lake bottom, and then after time, when the lake dries up, these could pack together, harden, and solidify to form a clastic sedimentary rock. Examples of clastic sedimentary rocks include things like sandstone, conglomerate, things where particles pack together and harden over time. Chemical sedimentary rocks are formed through the process of evaporation, however, and probably the most common example of chemical sedimentation is limestone. And Limestone can form in caverns, things like that, where you actually have chemicals suspended in a solution of water. And as that water drips, for instance, from a cave, it might hit the ground, the water evaporates out, leaving the mineral deposits behind. We see limestone caverns with the stalagmites and stalactites. Those are formed by that process of chemical sedimentation. The last category of sedimentary rocks, or organic sedimentary rocks, and anytime we talk about something organic, we're talking about something that came from the remains of a living thing. So organic sedimentary rocks are formed from the remains of living organisms. Things like coal and flint are formed from remains of plants and animals, and over time these decompose, they solidify, and form organic sedimentary rocks. Organic sedimentary rocks often can be used as fuel, things like Coal, things like flint, can be used to start a fire. And oil, even though it's not a rock because it's usually in a liquid form, is formed through this same process. Some examples of common sedimentary rocks include sandstone, which is a clastic sedimentary rock. Often the big rock formations you see in the desert are made up of sandstone. Shell is another clastic sedimentary rock. We see this a lot in our area in the mountains. Limestone, as we talked about already, is a chemical sedimentary rock, often makes caves and large underground deposits. Rock salt is a chemical sedimentary rock that we see a lot in the western United States. In deserts, you have what's called salt flats, big areas, deposits of rock salt on the surface of the ground. Coal is an organic sedimentary rock, meaning it comes from the remains of living organisms. And as we mentioned earlier, it can often be used as fuel because of that stored chemical energy that it contains. Flint's another example of organic sedimentary rocks, and we can see often in the mountains bands of flint in with other types of rock. As we look at sedimentary rocks, it's important to be able to understand more about how they're formed and understand how else we can classify them as clastic, chemical, or organic sedimentary rocks.